Hello friends, my name is Ajinder Rana and welcome to my channel TPT Rams. And so today's topic is Coulomb's law. According to Sir Coulomb, there is a electrostatic force that exists between the two charges. उनका मतलब ये था कि दो charges के बीच में एक electrostatic force होती है. अब वो कैसी होती है उसके ऊपर उन्होंने काम किया. तो उन्होंने जो भी किया काम उसमें कुछ उनकी findings थी, उनकी कुछ results थे. उनके हिस according जो electrostatic force है, that is electrostatic force. Let me make it more clear. Electrostatic force. That electrostatic force is directly proportional to the product of two charges, and same electrostatic force is inversely proportional to the square of the distance between the two charges. Here are the two charges Q1, Q2, and R is the distance between them. So, as per the Coulomb's law, that electrostatic force must be proportional to the product of two charges and inversely proportional to the square of the distance. To remove the, per constant, uh, the proportionality symbol, we just use a constant k, the constant of proportionality. You can say q1, q2 upon r square. The value of k, after some time you find out, that is that k is 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught. That epsilon naught is the absolute electrical permittivity. Absolute electrical permittivity means in this case these two charges are at rest in a medium of air or you can say it is in vacuum. That's why we use that naught here. Epsilon naught. So electrostatic force depends on Q1, the product of two charges, square of the distance but that should be in the denominator that is inversely related to the charges. And one more thing, as the force is a kind of a vector quantity, so we can represent it in this manner. Just look, look at this whiteboard carefully. It's Q1, it's Q2 upon R square. Why I am using the sign of modulus here? Because that charges Q1 and Q2, as we have discussed in the previous uh, video, these charges can be positive or negative. Yes, plus so sakte ये माइनस हो सकते हैं, but in this formula by using that mode sign इसका मोड का सिंबल इस्तेमाल करने का मतलब ये हुआ कि हम इनके पॉजिटिव और नेगेटिव साइन को इग्नोर कर रहे हैं। We are just interested in the force, in the force. Force can be attractive, force can be repulsive. That is a different story. We are just considering on the Coulomb's law. Okay. So this case, let's study constant, value is already given here and uh, let me tell you that value of k is 9 into 10 is to the power 9 Newton meter square per coulomb square and this is for SI system and for CGS system the value is 1 for CGS system the value for the k is 1. So this is the my formula for Coulomb's law. Okay, in today's video, we have discussed the Coulomb's law, how it is done, what the Coulomb said, directly proportional to the product of the charges, inversely proportional to the square of the distance between the two charges. K is the electrostatic constant, epsilon naught is the absolute electrical permittivity, and ignore the sign of the charges. K1 and two, that's why we use modulus sign. Modulus sign is less the mal और k की वैल्यू ऐसे सिस्टम में 9 टाइम्स पर 9 न्यूटन मीटर स्क्वायर पर कूलम स्क्वायर और सीधे सिस्टम के लिए 1 होती है थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर वाचिंग थैंक यू